Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do a review of Tyoner pencils. Now this is something that I've had in my cart for a long time and they intrigued me. So the price was within normal range. It was $29.99. That's well below $50 and I consider $50 and under budget pencils. So this fit the mold. They said it was a wax based pencil and that the cores were four millimeters. And what got me interested in this is that it's a four millimeter core triangular barrel. So I don't have any triangular barrels. So that was something I was interested in, and especially when it comes to a four millimeter core. Those are the, that's the size core that really sparks my interest. I mean, I don't mind 3.3s and 3.8s. They're okay. The pencil itself has the name on it. What interested me most in these pencils is how well balanced it was. The container that they keep the pencils in, it's in a tin, but the actual plastic that keeps the pencils on were divided up into sections, and I really like that. And I not only like it with this, this pencil set, but I may just put this pencil set in with, I have some Prismacolor um, holders. I may transfer that and then use these on my desks when I divide up my pencils into the, the undertones. So this may have a dual purpose. Those were some of the positives. Where there was a few negatives in there too when I was looking at it and that's why it took me so long to actually break down and get these pencils. This is minor, but they misspelled a couple of the words uh, when they did the pencil list on the back of the tin. And you'll see coffee was misspelled. And they also had two pencils named Fuchsia. And they spelt it two different ways. One is wrong, but that was kind of like quality assurance, you know, that got me thinking maybe this is, I'm doing something wrong here. I'm, it was, am I making the wrong decision? Am I wasting my money? So there was also one other thing that I didn't like. And that's the artwork that they had, the demo artwork, I thought was done by maybe an eight-year-old. And the colors did not look very bright. There were only two reviews, and one I think I know who did it. And they gave this person a uh, th these pencils a three. And they said that they were creamy, but some of them were a little scratchy and hard to get good pigment out of. So that could be a matter of taste and how sensitive you are. So that was okay. And the second one um, was a positive five-star review, and but they bought it for their kid. So their kid loves it. That's not a review that I pay any attention to when somebody buys it as a gift and when, oh, they love it. That's not important to me. All in all, I decided to take the plunge and hit that button to buy it. And it just got here. So it's either going to be really good or a total disaster. So they're here. I am so excited to have these pencils. And the box was nicer than the picture on the computer. They didn't have such great photography. The colors on the box are much more vivid. They're going to look very pretty in my room. Now let's open them up and we'll see how they do. Now, of course, I've already opened them up. I couldn't wait. Very, very nice looking set. The colors on the pencils, the barrels are very analogous. They look great together. Look how beautiful. Whoever put the set together was looking for the aesthetic beauty of the set and they achieved it. It's very, very nice looking. And here's the bottom tray. But you know what? takes a lot more than a pretty package to make a good pencil. So let's take a look at how they did. These pencils had only two reviews. One gave it a five-star review and one gave it a three-star review. The one who gave it the three-star review originally gave it a really good review, like a five-star review, and then they did an edit on it. And what they said was these pencils were very scratchy and inconsistent. While they it went out of the starting block, it was looking great and doing well. After they used the pencils, they changed their mind about it. Saying to myself, you know, everybody's got a different 
point of view. Everybody's got a different feel. So did I believe the five-star review or do I believe the three-star review? Well, I can absolutely tell you after swatching these pencils, I believe the three-star review. And I know this is going to sound very harsh, but these were one of the most uncomfortable pencils to use that I've that I've ever used. Not only are they scratchy, this one pencil right here, I've never had this happen to me before. It had no pigment. And I'm not kidding you. It's T33. If I can find that. This is a nice looking pencil. I was really impressed. I wanted to use this color. I'm holding it hard. There's like no pigment in this pencil except for what the tip looked like. Now, I don't want to sharpen this pencil because this pencil set is very pretty. It's going up on my wall as wall art. It's not going to be a pencil set I'm ever going to use. But look at this. What did they put in that pencil? It certainly isn't pigment. Now, what was a little bit mind-blowing about these is not all of them were bad. It was very, very inconsistent. I will tell you without a doubt in my mind, it was uncomfortable to color the greens. Literally, I wanted to put them down. It just gave me like the chills. It was not good. But then you have... The metallics, which I was almost dreading about using. And they, the gold and the silver, were extremely creamy and highly pigmented. Which I think the person who did the three-star review said also that they were surprised about the metallics being good. Now, there were only 72 pencils in this set. And they had a lot to work with. The barrel colors are beautiful. This is going to make great wall art. The colors were so close that I don't think the person who picked these colors, these actual cores out, realized that it's the same color. Like, they didn't skip any tonal value in between. So I want to show you a couple of things. And I don't mean to sound like a bitch, but this pencil set is $30 for the most part. It's $29 and change. And Amazon Basics are $25. And the Basics are so much nicer for the same amount of pencils. This is a competitive world in selling budget pencils. you got to play the game. you got to give people what they need. The basic set had different colors, 72 different colors. I want to show you something. These three pencils, oops, and they're brittle. These three pencils are virtually the same. Um, when you're swatching these out and when you're coloring with them, which I did color with them, you basically can't tell the difference. There's not enough tonal value in between. So you got three of the same. Look at the, the violet, this one and this one. This one's a little bit lighter, but these two, I'm going to get a different pencil color. Okay, I got a marker out. So these three are virtually the same. These two, you tell me the difference between these two pencils. Because I don't see it. Now, I did overlap this one with this one. These two were okay. This was blended with this one. I just was testing the tonal value on it. And it was, it was okay. It was mild difference, but the, okay. So this one is okay. One of these would be okay, and maybe the top one on this one and the third one, they could have gotten rid of this one altogether. Now, you have some pinks here that are nice, and they've got some good, these four, they're nice. And they're definitely analogous, and you can put them together. So these, th these four worked. This one and this one are virtually the same. Tiny bit lighter up here than this, but 
there was there's no significant great difference, but the barrels are very different. Here you have the same as this. There's virtually no great difference in this. The barrel paint colors were different, but when you use the wax, they might as well be the same pencil. In most sets that I find orange to be usually very smooth, it's the formula in the orange pigment. If there's going to be anything that is set that's uh, smooth, you test the, the orange out. And they had a nice difference between the oranges. These are the red oranges. They're reds. These two are the same pencil. I'm sorry. There's no pigment difference between these two. So you could scratch that out. And then this should be up here because I don't know why it's down there, but it was. And these two yellows are virtually the same. These two yellows are virtually the same. Why bother? You couldn't find another yellow? They, they, they make 500 different colors in China. Tell me you couldn't have picked something different. I'm sorry. You just... These two are virtually the same. These two are virtually the same. This went on and on. It did have a couple of nice colors. Too bad it was the green. The T31, the T20, and the T35... These are are beautiful colors, except they were horrible to do. Just scratching, I wouldn't, I wouldn't get any satisfaction. It's like bad sex. You just don't want it. This color was okay. This was a disaster in the making. This pencil could be thrown out. That pencil is pretty. That's the T sixty three. The T sixty seven was nice. These are just common blues. And this one and this one are very similar but I can live with this being like that now if this was a decent light blue I would be okay with it but that's not like a cloud blue that's a dark blue that has no pigment in it these two are the best pencils in the set I think as far as being creamy the gold and the silver then you have another couple of peachy colors that were these got these two or the three would have gone nicely up here they're more orangey so i guess they put them in another part of the set they had a beautiful you could see it here these are the okra colors and these were really nice in the box really nice now they're not horrible on the paper they did a good job with this the earthen colors. This is a beautiful color. T04. This was very smooth too. And then they have some browns, which are just common browns. There's nothing special about them. Um, this is a yellow brown. I could see if it was in a Prismacolor or an Amazon Basic formula that I would use this. And then they have two grays that look virtually the same. And they have a blue gray. One blue, gray, and two, I guess these are French grays. And then the black is more gray than it is black. So I wouldn't use this as a black pencil. And they have, you know, the non-existent Chinese white that all sets have that they don't work. Basically just use them to, I don't know what you'd use them for. They don't work. The lay down on these, very unpigmented. And... Have you ever used a pen that sputters and it it just, uh, you, you put it across the line and it makes like a sputtery? That's the way these pencils were. It was really weird. I did sharpen some of them because sometimes the, when you first use them, they're not that good. They were just as bad after, after sharpening. That's why I didn't sharpen the whole set. I'm going to use it as wall art. These are a wax pencil. They should be blending. They do I will say they should. They do blend like a wax pencil. I do believe these these are not an oil pencil. Now, they had a lot of good in them and a lot of good potential. They just flopped. I was going to do a picture to demonstrate them. And I got out. I made it this far. And I just said to myself, you know what? I'm not enjoying this. 
it didn't have a good feel. So I put it down. And as I said, I'm going to use this as wall art. So they had a good running start. They did a lot of things right with this set. They did the barrel colors beautiful. The shape of it is nice. It's a nice triangular shape. A little weird in the hand, but you get used to that. So it was it was comfortable. The trays, I love that they put the color groupings together. I give them high marks for these trays. Their box is very nice. I like it. Their cores, they need to work on their formula. And I didn't even test them to see if they run. Uh, they're a wax pencil, not an oil pencil. They shouldn't run. Um, maybe I will just test them just for shits and giggles. I'm just doing this to test it. This is just water. I just want to see if it... No, they don't. That's good. The pigment's not really breaking down. Nothing significant. This this set would... That's pretty good. Glad to see that. So their binder is pretty strong. By the way, they give you this swatch sheet. They're not going anywhere. They're fine. Okay, so that's my review on these. I had high hopes for them. I really did. I wanted to be sitting here bouncing up and down that I found a pencil that had no reviews and except for two. And honestly, I'm not going to give my recommendation for these pencils. I wish I could. Uh, they've got their positives. They've got too many negatives for me to do that. So with that, this bitch is going to bed. I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.